Welcome to the Creative Puxa. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a flame effect in Affinity Photo. First, go to File Open and select the image of the hand. Grab the Selection Brush tool from the Tools panel. Press the right bracket key to increase the brush size and press the left bracket key to decrease the brush size. Take the brush and make a selection of the hand. If you select an area you don't want, press the Alt key and go back over the area to deselect it. Once you've selected the hand, go to the Context toolbar and select Refine. Set the output to New Layer and hit Apply. Label the layer Hand. Next, grab the Rectangle tool from the Tools panel. Take the tool and draw a rectangle that covers the document. Place this layer below the hand layer. Go to the Color panel and double-click the Fill Color. Then, set the rectangle to the following hex code number, 2C1F1F. With the rectangle layer selected, go to the Layers panel and click the Adjustments icon. Select Recolor. Set the hue to 215 degrees, saturation is 60%, and lightness to negative 20%. Make sure the adjustment is inside of the rectangle layer. Now, select the hand layer. Click the Adjustments icon in the Layers panel and select the Recolor Adjustment. Next, set the hue to 209.3 degrees, saturation of 49%, and the lightness to negative 4%. Make sure this adjustment is inside the hand layer. Now we're about to create the base part of the flame. You don't necessarily need to do this step, but it'll help in forming the shape of the flame. In the Layers panel, click the Add Pixel Layer. In the Tools panel, grab the Elliptical Marquee tool. Turn on the Lock Aspect Ratio in the Transform panel. Then, press Ctrl and Shift and draw a circle above the hand where you see it on the screen. With the circle still selected, grab the Color Picker tool. Take the tool and select an area on the hand. Then, grab the Flood Fill tool. Click the Color Picker color to activate the color. Then, click on the Circle Selection to fill the circle. After that, press Ctrl and D to deselect. Now go to the Layers panel and click the Add Pixel Layer. Label this layer Flame. With the new layer selected, grab the Paintbrush tool from the Tools panel. Go to the Brushes panel. Click on the Dream Fography brushes. These are a set of free brushes that come with Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo, and they're compatible with version 1 and version 2. If you don't have them, go to the Affinity website to download them. Click on the link in the description of this video to download the brushes. Select the Smoke 1 brush. To make the brush size smaller, press the left bracket key and press the right bracket key to make it larger. In the color panel, click on the black color and take the brush and paint some of this color onto the circle. Then click on the bluish color and add some of it to the circle. Alternate between these colors a few times until you have something that looks like this. After that, turn the circle layer off in the Layers panel. Label the other layer Flame. Now, we're going to shape this to make it look more like a flame or a flame ball. Grab the Smudge Brush tool from the Tools panel. Go to the Brushes panel. Then, go to the Basic Brushes and select a round light brush. Click on the Force Pressure icon in the Context toolbar. Now, take the brush and start stroking the area like you see on the screen. We want to shape this like a fire flame. Once you've done that, press Ctrl and O, select the flame image and drag it onto the document. Make sure this layer is at the top. With the image still selected, go to the Layers panel. Set the blend mode of this layer to Screen. Then grab the Move tool and resize the image the way you see it on the screen. After that, click the Mask Layer icon to add a mask to this flame layer. Next, grab the Paintbrush tool. In the Color panel, set the color to black. Then go to the Brushes panel. Go to the Basic Brushes and select a round soft brush. 
Make sure the mask layer and the layer panel is selected first. After that, take the brush and remove this part of the image. We want the flame to have a similar shape to the flame we created with the brush. In the layers panel, turn the other flame layer off. After that, select the flame layer and its mask. Right click and select Rasterize and Trim. Label this layer Flame. With the new flame layer selected, go to the Layers panel and click the Adjustments icon. Then select the Recolor Adjustment. Here we can change the color of the flame. You can set the flame color to whatever color you want. For this color flame, I set the hue to 177 degrees, saturation to 83%, and the lightness to negative 10%. Make sure the adjustment is inside the flame layer. And this is how to create a flame effect in Affinity Photo. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, hit the bell icon to be notified on new videos and tutorials once they're posted.